we are now nearing the end of the exam blouse. We just have the back of the blouse to join, okay? And we also have to do a small part of the hem at the bottom of the blouse. We will press the whole hem and then just four inches of that hem across the seam that we made here. So we'll be doing four inches of hem, just like about from here to here. We'll be hemming, okay? And that will be the end of your exam. After that, you will have to attach a little tab that you would have made up similar to this, okay? Onto the back of the blouse so that your blouse could be identified from everybody else's own, okay? So that would be your final step. So let's get started now. Just going to be stitching the back seam and the back seam we left an inch seam allowance just in case say you wanted to put in a zipper or something like that you have enough seam allowance to allow you to do that comfortably so that's why we normally would use a bigger seam at the back okay now for this exam blouse we are not adding a um a zipper as such we're just going to be leaving it open okay so first of all one of the important things you want the top to match okay so let's put a pin at the top here first when we are going to join it we're putting in a pin here making sure that the top here matches okay then we put a pin now you see i have it marked off i have the seam marked off i put a pin just where i'm going to stop okay because this part here will be open we're just leaving it open for the time being so i want to stop my stitch just here so i put a pin just above it so it wouldn't be the way and then i pin the facing make sure you pin the facing so it don't fold back on you while you're stitching make sure you pin right up to the edge of the, the facing and even when you're stitching just take a peep under as you get to the facing to make sure that it's not going to fold backwards now a little trick here would be to start stitching from this point instead of starting to stitch from the bottom start stitching from this point so you'll be pushing the fabric this way and then you wouldn't have that problem of the facing folding back on you okay and you're going to be stitching all the way down to the end and back stitch here and that's all you need for your the back of your garment you're not finishing the edges or anything like that just going to press it open when you're finished so let me stitch this first and then i'll come back to you take a look so as i said i'm going to start stitching right at the end of my line here Alright, so I'm going to start here, reverse, just a few stitches, make sure you reverse so that your stitch there will not open out on you. At the end, a reverse stitch again, cut your threads. As I said, if you don't have this feet here, then you pull your fabric out to the back and snip. Pull the pins out. Trim my thread here. I have a little end of thread that I need to trim. So I'll trim that. Okay. So now see I left my four inches at the top that was what was asked of you so they told you to leave four inches from at the back and all you have to do now is go to your iron and press the seam open as usual so you'll be pressing the seam open that's all you're doing for the seam press it open and then we're going to the bottom and press the seam for your hem press the the fold sorry for your hem so we're going to do the same thing like the um the sleeves where we did a small fold first like about a quarter inch and then we're going to fold up about one inch 
for your hem okay so i'll be back when i'm finished pressing this and we will start the final phase of your exam.